The, the evidence on face coverings is, is not very strong in either direction. Uh, but for most people actually, they tend to get a mask, and, and it's a behavioural issue as well. They uh, put it on, they take it off, they'll perhaps put it down somewhere where they'll get a virus and put it, <coughs> excuse me, put it back on again. Um, and therefore in some ways they may actually risk uh, catching the disease rather than uh, preventing it. So routinely we don't say, uh, don't recommend them. Uh, t tell us about the value of wearing face masks. You see face masks uh, around the place. Is, is there any point to that? Uh, if a healthcare professional hasn't advised you to wear a face mask, it's usually quite a bad idea. People tend to leave them on. Uh, they contaminate the, the face mask and then wipe it over something. So it's really not a good idea and doesn't help. So that you might actually be creating a problem in the sense of trapping uh, virus and then not disposing of it. Care. Average member pub of the public wandering down the street, this is really not a good idea. Uh, what tends to happen is people will have one mask. You can imagine they don't wear it all the time. They'll take it off when they get home. They'll put it down on a surface that they haven't cleaned or they'll be out and they haven't washed their hands, they'll go and have a cup of coffee somewhere, they half hook it off, they'll wipe something over it, they'll put it back off and in fact you can actually trap the virus in the mask and then start breathing in. So, so they could be putting themselves more at risk well, by wearing a, it just, a mask than It not? just doesn't, it, so yes because of this issue of um, if you like behavioural issues which are really important when we're talking about infectious diseases, people tend, can in fact adversely put themselves at more risk mm. than less.